Hello and welcome to Herald TV News Bulletin with me, Orina. On Wednesday, 47-year-old under trial Nigerian was arrested red-handed with drugs worth 67 lakhs. This Nigerian was married to a Goan origin and the Nigerian ran a bar and restaurant in Saligao while they live in Taligao. Today, Team Herald visited the spot where the Nigerian was arrested. This restaurant is two kilometers away from the heart of Saligao village in the forest. Now the question arises, do these Nigerian involved in drug dealing and other criminal activities marry Goans to get a green license to do business illegally? Looks like these peddlers and dealers identify such places in isolated areas to conduct their illegal business. Do Nigerians marry Goans to start illegal side businesses in Goa? Herald on site. The restaurant where the Nigerian was arrested is nearly two kilometers from the heart of Saligaon village in the forest. Married to a Goan, the Nigerian runs a bar and restaurant while they lived in Taligao. SP said that his team will also probe if the Goan family is a part of the racket and take action accordingly. Team Herald TV visited the site on Thursday afternoon where the drug dealer was caught red-handed on Wednesday. This place where the incident took place is in the forest, nearly two kilometers inside the heart of Saligao village. Team Herald saw that this place has no proper road access, no proper street lights, few houses surrounded to the restaurant. However, on Thursday, all doors were shut of the restaurant. Look at these visuals. Earlier, Nigerian national who was among the 52 booked for attempt murder during the riot in 2013 has been arrested in a major drug haul unearthed by the anti-narcotic cell of Goa police. The 47-year-old under trial only Lucky Sunday was found in possession of 64.91 grams of LSD liquid and 20.45 grams of MDMA, all worth 66, 95,500 lakhs. From Saligao, one of the popular tourist hubs, he was married to a Goan origin. The Nigerian ran a business of bar and restaurant while they lived in Talikao. The SP had earlier said that his team would probe if Goan family is a part of the racket and action would be taken accordingly. The alleged peddler was earlier arrested in writing attempt of murder demanding properties during the horrific clash between Nigerians and Goa police at the Porim National Highway on, in 2013. Now look at this, on these visuals you can make out that how deep inside is the restaurant place. Looks like such restaurants and such places are identified to do secret deals in the name of a restaurant. However, police sources are yet to be claimed. This is Clinton D'Souza for Herald TV. Caretaker Chief Minister Dr. Pramod Savant directed the Director General of Police and Officer Serafin Undias not to block traffic for Prime Minister Narendra Modi's arrival. Last month, when the Prime Minister arrived for the election rally, the roads were blocked and people had to face inconvenience. Savan told DGP, this time Prime Minister will arrive by chopper from Dabuli, so there is no need for closure of the roads, he said. Dr. Pramod Savant will take oath as a Goa Chief Minister for the second term on March 28th. Goa Chief Minister Dr. Pramod Savant directs DGP not to block traffic for Prime Minister Narendra Modi's arrival to the state for the swearing-in ceremony. This time, PM Modi will arrive by chopper from Dabulim, so there is no need to closure of roads, he said. Dr. Pramod Savant will take oath as Goa's next Chief Minister for the second time on March 28th, that's Monday. One lane can be blocked, other no, lane can no, Last time, SVG Zenka Sangle, so he just stated, I mean, in the character of Shaw Zon, Wanadat, he gave you the Nat Kurunam, then Nat Kurunam, this is the first time, and it gave it to me well in time. William Rodriguez for Herald TV.
Rajya Sabha MP Luizino Ferrero took up the issue of destruction of rivers in Goa, destruction of the ecology and assault of federalism in Goa. While addressing Luizino said, with the implementation of Major Ports Authority Act 2021, nationalization of Goan rivers, implementation of three linear projects, double tracking of railway lines, expansion of roads and national highway and power transmission project through the forest in Goa is a direct hidden agenda to make Goa a coal hub. Today, the people of the state are against this, but the central forces suppressing the voice of the people and are going ahead with these projects. Goa is a tourism hub and not a coal hub. He demanded to revoke the Major Ports Authorities Act 2021. TMC's Luisin Falero takes up issues of destruction of rivers, ecology and assault on federalism in Rajya Sabha. Implementation Major Ports Authority Act 2021 nationalization of Goan rivers, implementation of three linear projects, double tracking of railway lines, expansion of roads, national highways and power transmission projects through the forest in Goa is a direct hidden agenda to make Goa a coal hub. Today, the people of the state are against this, but the central forces are suppressing the voices of the people and going ahead with these projects, he said. There is a widespread anger on the overreach of power by the centre, whose hidden agenda is to make Goa a coal hub. TMC MP Luis Infalero in Rajya Sabha today. Mr. Chairman, Goa is known as a jewel on the crown of India. With a spread of 11 rivers, mostly originating from the Western Ghats to the Arabian Sea. This mighty rivers represents the lifeline of the people of Goa and have mostly ports and navigational channels. With the implementation of Major Ports Authority Act 2021, nationalization of Goan rivers, implementation of three linear projects, double tracking of railway lines, expansion of national highways, power transmission projects through wildlife sanctuaries. There is a widespread anger on the overreach of powers by the center whose hidden agenda, whose hidden agenda is to make Goa a coal hub. Goa is a tourist destination, not a coal destination. The government of Goa, which is really a double engine sarkar, has also informed the Goa Assembly on July 29, 2021, and they have written to the Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways on June 17, 2021 to repeal the Major Ports Authority Act as it conflicts and usurps the Goan laws like Town and Country Planning Act, Regional Plan, ODPs made there under, Goa Panchayati Raj Act, Goa Municipalities Act, Goa Land Revenue Code, Goa Land Development. This draconian law is an assault on the federal structure of the country. I therefore join the people of Goa, join the government of Goa to repeal the Major Ports Authority Act. And I would like to give only one classic example and finish. The classic example is Marmagoa Port Trust, which is already converted to Marmagoa Port Authority. Even though Goa does not have a single power project, the government of Goa has signed to bring in 13 million tons of coal, thereby making Goa a coal hub. Right. So I request to the Honorable Chairman and to the Honorable Minister, who is the son of Goa, he had promised that he will change it, or at least amend it, right. that it should be amended immediately. Okay. Thank you. Herald TV Bureau Report. Several sports complexes and venues have undergone repairs and restructuring as part of the National Games. One of them is a swimming complex at Kampal. Due to the delay in completion of the repair works, the swimmers are forced to travel far to practice. Today in this special story, we will show how the delay in work has caused a lot of inconvenience to the students as well as parents for nearly three years. However, officials of SAG say the work is in progress and will be completed soon. Swimmers are forced to travel miles to practice as Kampal Swimming Complex has been shut for three years. Parents question Sports Authority of Goa says this has affected the students' health and education too, demands immediate opening of the Panjim Centre. 
Officials say that the delay in completion work to be completed soon. Speaking to Herald TV, parents said that due to the closure of the swimming pool, the students are forced to go to Mapsa or Marga, which is causing a lot of inconvenience. And this is shut for nearly three years. However, the officials say that the work is in progress and will be completed soon. प्रश्न असा होतो की लास्ट तीन वर्ष एक वर्ष नाही लास्ट तीन वर्ष जवळजवळ तो पूल बंद आहे आम्ही लास्ट तीन वर्ष इथून म्हापशाला जातो आणि ट्रेनिंग जे आहे ते सकाळी आणि संध्याकाळी दोन्ही वेळेस होतं माझ्यासारख्या पॅरेंटचा जर तू विचार करशील तर फक्त हा साधासा हिशोब आहे मला दोर दर दिवसाचं जवळजवळ हजार रुपये पेट्रोल लागतं अडीचशे दिवस जरी मी स्विमिंगला गेलो समज म्हटलं वर्षाला बाकीचे दिवस समजा सुट्टी आहे काहीतरी असे ऑफ आहे तसं पकडलं आणि अडीचशे जरी दिवस सु स्विमिंगला गेलो आम्ही तरी मला जवळजवळ अडीच लाखाचं पेट्रोल दर वर्षाला लागतं तीन वर्षामध्ये मी जवळजवळ साडेसात लाख तिथे दहा लाख रुपये फक्त पेट्रोलवर यायचा जायचा खर्च केला आहे आता देवाच्या देवाच्या कृपेमुळे माझ्यासारख्याला ज्याला चांगली नोकरी आहे तो हे अफोर्ड करू शकतो बाकीच्या कित्येक सारे असे पोरं आहेत जे चांगले स्विमर्स आहेत पण हे जाणं येणं रोज करू शकत नाही म्हणून त्यांनी स्विमिंग सोडलेलं आहे हे कुठेतरी म्हणजे ह्याला खरं म्हणजे कारणं काय काय कुठे डिले चाललं आहे काय चाललं आहे हे कोणी सांगायलासुद्धा तयार नाही माझ्या मते आमच्या सोबतचे जे थोडेसे पॅरेंट्स होते ते आत्ताचे जे बाबूश मोनसेराज जे एम एल ए आहेत त्यांच्याकडे गेले होते थोडे पॅरेंट्स त्याच्यानंतर काय झालं काय माहीत नाही आय एम नॉट आय एम नो आयडिया ॲब्सोल्युटली पण अजूनसुद्धा तो पूल काही सारखा होत नाही हो आम्ही डायरेक्टरच्या खूप कॉन्टॅक्टमध्ये होतो आम्ही ॲल्बर्ट म्हणून जे सर आहेत त्यांच्या कॉन्टॅक्टमध्ये होतो मोनिका मॅडमच्या कॉन्टॅक्टमध्ये ते वर व्हेरी हेल्पफुल मी तुम्हाला हे पण सांगतो ॲल्बर्ट सरांनी जो म्हापशाला जो पूल केलेला आहे सध्या मी तुम्हाला सांगतो तीन वर्षाआधी ते पुलाचं पाणी पूर्ण हिरवं असायचं जेव्हापासून ॲल्बर्ट दुरादो म्हणून जे सर आहेत त्यांनी तिथे चार्ज टेक ओव्हर केला ते पाणी इतकं छान असतं म्हणजे बाकी क्वालिटी ऑफ स्विमिंग आणि क्वालिटी ऑफ इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन म्हापसा इज फॅन्टॅस्टिक पण आम्हाला सध्या त्रास होतो जायचा यायचा आणि वेळ आणि आता ऑफलाईन शाळा सुरू झाल्या आधी कसं व्हायचं दोन वर्ष एक दुःखात सुख असं होतं की ऑनलाईन शाळा होती त्यामुळे तो एक प्रॉब्लेम नसायचा आता ऑफलाईन शाळा सुरू झाली आहे म्हणजे आता आमची तारांबळ उडते आता आम्ही सकाळी पाच वाजता उठायचं तिथे जायचं मुलांनी स्विमिंग करायचं मग ते टायर्ड झालेले असतात ब्रेकफास्ट बरोबर होतो नाही होत त्यांना चेंज करून परत शाळेत वेळेत पोचायचं असतं शाळा संपली नाही की त्यांचं होमवर्क वगैरे झालं नाही की लगेच परत दुपारी जायची वेळ येते कारण आम्हाला ट्रॅव्हलला जवळजवळ एक पाऊण तास तरी लागतो अर्धा पाऊण तास आता तरी नशीब चांगलं आहे रस्ते चांगले झाले मागचे दोन वर्ष जे आम्ही ट्रॅव्हल केलं त्याच्यामध्ये तर आम्हाला जवळजवळ दीड दीड तास लागायचा ट्रॅव्हलला म्हणजे तीन तास आम्हाला नुसतं जाऊन येऊन लागायचे सो हे हे कुठेतरी माहीत नाही काय चाललं आहे कसं चाललं आहे आणि कशासाठी चाललं आहे आम्ही खूप वेळा असं पण सांगितलेलं स्पोर्ट्स अथॉरिटी ऑफ गोवाला वगैरे किंवा स्विमिंग गोवा स्विमिंग असोसिएशनला की आम्ही तुम्हाला मदत करतो तुम्हाला एक आपण लमसम अशी कॉर्पस जमा करून देऊ तुम्ही कोचेस सेव्ह करा जर गोवा गव्हर्नमेंट कोच करत नसेल तर एक ॲग्रीमेंटमध्ये या स्वर्स अथॉरिटी ऑफ गोवाकडे आणि तिथे तुमचे कोचेस तुम्ही लावा पण फॉर सम रिझन ते सुद्धा अजून होत नाही आहे का होत नाही आहे मला अजून तेही कल्पना नाही आहे नाही 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 ते या सगळ्या पोलिटिकल गिमिक्स आहेत आणि ह्याच्यामध्ये गोवा सरकार मी तुम्हाला सांगतो कुठल्याही कुठल्याच स्पोर्ट्सबद्दल त्यांना फक्त स्पोर्ट्स इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चरमध्ये इंटरेस्ट आहे स्पोर्ट्समध्ये इंटरेस्ट नाही आहे तुम्ही कुठलाही स्पोर्ट्स घ्या म्हणजे मी फक्त स्विमिंग म्हणत नाही कुठलाही स्पोर्ट्स घ्या आज जर एखादा स्पोर्ट्स चांगला करत असेल तर त्याची असोसिएशन जी आहे ती चांगली आहे आणि ती स्वतःच्या लेवलवर काहीतरी चांगलं काम करते म्हणून मला सांगा हो कुठल्या सरकारमध्ये स्पोर्ट्स कॉम्प्लेक्स तुम्ही आज कम्प्लिटली बंद ठेवता कारण इलेक्शन सामग्री तिथे जाते मग तुमच्याकडे दुसरी जागा नाही इलेक्शन सामग्री ठेवायला तुम्ही स्पोर्ट्स फेसिलिटी बंद ठेवता हा विचार करण्यासारखी गोष्ट आहे बाय एक्झिक्युटिव्ह इंजिनियर ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स अथॉरिटी ऑफ गोवा ऑलमोस्ट नाईन्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ द वर्क इज कम्प्लिटेड अँड वी होप टू कमिशन द स्विमिंग पूल बाय जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ओके 
and uh, the cost uh, work order is given for almost 4.449 crores that means 4.50 crores so uh, like i said uh, swimming pool will be commissioned somewhere in uh, the month of uh, june 2023 Uh, as person uh, 90 percent yes uh, see technically i cannot speak anything because uh, based on whatever the plans and the consultant has given um, their reports whatever work is being done uh, technically i cannot speak but what we see it, it appears that uh, there is more work that is done around the pool um, and there is nothing much that has been done to the the base that is the swimming pool so technically i cannot say like uh, how well the work has been done but from what we see it appears that uh, there is some coating that has been done for the waterproofing or for water not to seep through the uh, pools initially the contractor his uh, his contract was he was given a letter of termination because the sports authority was not satisfied with his work apparently i think he approached the supreme court and he he's he won the case so SG has given him the contract again but now how slow how fast like uh, technical cell has informed that the uh, work will be completed 90% work is completed and we hope to commission it by may and june so kitna samay hai okay i need to do something to keep work as slow as ते आम्मी खूब पाटी तंका आपोन डायरेक्टर पास मीटिंग घोग्रेस तुम्हें स्लो हा मैं बेगीन करा क्या पेरंट्सा त्रास जता भूगें त्रास जता सो आता वी ऑल होपिंग कि जून पर्यन स्विमींग पूल कमीशन जो यस वो प्रोजेक्ट नेशनल गेम्सा खाती रिफर्बिशमेंट के देवेंद्र गांवकर फॉर हेराल्ड टीवी Positive signs were witnessed with regard to the commissioning of Kolwa Sewage Treatment Plant (STP) and the issue related to the project. As a newly elected local MLA, Venzi Vegas, along with the citizens, suggested another 15 MLT tank instead of pipeline to release treated water into the River Sal, and urged to take all the necessary precautions before it gets started. Newly elected Benaulim MLA Venzi Vegas, along with local citizens, suggested another 15 MLD tank instead of pipeline to release treated water into the river Sal. Locals urged to take all necessary precautions before it gets started. Uh, today we had asked for a, a inspection come study of the STP plant in Kolwa. I'm going to Banale constituency. I'm net. I'm there. I'm with those guys. I mean, there is all. projects which were already been uh, done and in under stage of completion but uh, where environment and goa is first we are always here for goa first and keeping goa in mind today we have understood that probably the pipeline which is going to river sal could be avoided could have been avoided earlier pun te pahile jaau na te jaau na pun ata ek 1.9 km ra section ulla pipeline che ani around 330 pipe thi आनी तीन से तीस पाइप घपा ही सुमार तीन कोटिया प्रोजेक्ट तो उल्ला सो ते जो घायना आनी आसा ते दो आनी जी पाइप घाल ती ती दी तीन कोटी जी आ ती फिफ्टी पर्संटान एक फिफ्टीन एम एल डी टैंक इन कंस्ट्रक्ट कर फिफ्टीन एम एल डी टैंक जे सोले ट्रीटेड वॉटर आ डिजाइन आई थिंक देर इज अ फ्यू प्लेसीज वेर सम जॉइंट्स दीस इज अ डिफरंट प्लैन बाय सेल्फ so i have already had meeting with the pwd uh, for the roads and uh, i have also had uh, meetings with regards to this particular network so there are few places where boxes and internal connections are remaining uh, we should able to complete them i will follow up with them on a regular basis and uh, probably by at least by 10th april we should able to get everything cleared 
and then in the meantime i will follow up with the pwd so that they can get it sanctioned and keep ready so we should able to start the work in april so that is uh, what is my target so considering that ki pa setlo maya 15 tarike mule we have to keep a deadline so we should able to finish this so i will follow up on this process because i think this is priority for this uh, village and uh, i think they are doing a good job what i have seen they are really cooperating well the pwd road the entire team who is there they are really cooperating well and yes sir who is there for the sewage side and all they are really cooperating well so i think they are they are pretty good that they are complete. the tourism department or the hotel industry for their csr ki they make 15 mld udo mahina kadpache and that jo kadpacho cost asa समज दा लाख रुपये कॉस्ट आ तो दा लाख रुपये गवर्नमेंट तंका थ्रू सी एस आर एक्जेंशन दी फॉर एक्जाम्पल गोवा ब्यूटिफिकेशन प्रोजेक्ट अदरवाइज टूरिजम टूरिजम कैन कम अप विद कॉन्ट्रैक्ट विद सीवेट पीडब्ल्यूटेशन वेर इट गोज मीटिंग आदित्य बिद्रे फॉर हेराल टीवी Indian Meteorological Department IMD Goa unit has forecast a rainfall or thunder shower activity across the state till March 26th. In continuation of previous forecast, rainfall or thunder showers activity very likely to continue over North and South Goa up to March 26th. Weather warnings for lightning and winds gusting to 40 to 50 kilometers per hour. Isolated places issued for 24th and 25th March says IMD. Goa to witness rainfall and thunder shower until 26th of March predicts IMD. Weather warning for lightning and winds gusting at about 40 to 50 kilometers per per hour in isolated places over 24th and 25th of March. No weather warning for districts of North and South Goa on the 26th, 27th, and 28th of March. That's how basically uh, India Meteorological Department collects data, and like I told, all this information and with the help of numerical weather prediction models, IMD tries to give the uh, forecast accurate forecast on a timely basis, and apart from that. like the wmo team of this year 2022 the target is uh, uh, early warning and early action that means uh, we have to play our vital role in disaster management by giving uh, accurate warnings at the right time so that the uh, disaster management authorities can take uh, required actions meanwhile med department has forecast the possibility of rainfall with thunderstorms at isolated places for the next 5 days till 26th march after 3 days rainfall may reduce the minimum temperature will be higher but there will not be heat wave conditions for 7 to 10 days for activity to start from around 23rd of march and exactly that that is what uh, we have seen even in the latest set of observations we have issued a, a possibility of uh, rainfall activity that to uh, accompanied with thunderstorms uh, starting from today onwards for about Four to five days. That is approximately up to 26. Uh, we have issued the possibility of rainfall over Goa, and it may not be uh, that uh, like the monsoon rainfall. It will be accompanied with thunderstorms at isolated places. And uh, today and tomorrow there is particularly warning for uh, thunderstorms to take place over Goa. And from uh, day three onwards, the rainfall activity may slightly reduce. Its distribution, its intensity is going to reduce. and uh, since there is going to be a lot of moisture incursion over goa particularly from tomorrow onwards the minimum temperature day time or the morning time early morning time temperature is going to be uh, somewhat higher than what it was yesterday or today and that condition is going to continue whereas there are no uh, conditions of heat wave unlike last week or last week goa experienced uh, conditions satisfying heat wave but we are not expecting any heat wave conditions over goa at least for 7 uh, to 10 more days story by william rodriguez for herald tv Indian men's national team head coach Igor Stimak lavish praise on debutant Roshan Singh after his performance in the international friendly against Bahrain a match where India went down 1-2 I'm very happy about young Roshan Singh who confirmed he's a future Indian star not just in the hero Indian Super League but also the international stage Stimak stated Boys need to keep competing for national team position says coach Stimak 
Indian men's national team head coach Gostima Klavish praised on debutant Roshan Singh after his performance in the international friendly against Bahrain, a match where India went down 1-2. International friendlies are a part of team's preparation for the final round of the AFC Asian Cup China 2023. Qualifying matches will be held in Calcutta from 8th June onwards. It was a good day for all the boys to gain experience. They did all they did well and they need to keep up competing for their performance in the national team the coach added. India next play Belarus in another international friendly on the 26th of March. India had conceded a penalty early in the first half which was saved diving from the left by the captain and goalkeeper Gurpreet Singh Sadhu. I looked at the coach and he pointed me to the left. I was lucky enough to save it, Gurpreet said. The match also saw central defender Rahul BK scoring his first international goal. It feels great to get name on the score sheet, but individual stats do not matter much. We have started the game well and we got a goal every and early in the second half. Looking back, I feel we should have done better. The boys who came in did well. We have another match coming up in three days and it will take be a challenging one, BK expressed. Now the international friendlies are a part of the team's preparation for the final round in the AFC Asian China Cup 2023 qualifying matches which will be held in Calcutta on the 8th of June. India have been clubbed with Group T along with Hong Kong, Afghanistan and Cambodia. 24 teams have been divided into 6 groups and the group winners and the 5 best to 2nd place teams will be earning a ticket to the Asian Cup in China. This is Clinton D'Souza for Herald TV. Now that's all we have in today's news bulletin. Thanks for watching Herald TV News. For more news alerts, please follow us on O Heraldo on Facebook and Twitter. Take care and goodbye.